What's up, pit makers? It's AR here, and in this video, you're about to see my attempt at making a lo fi beat. Now, the reason I went with a lo fi beat for today's video is because I've been seeing the word come up all over the place. I saw Sharpie did a lo fi beat video, and tons of other people were doing how to make a lo fi beat, this and that. And so, I never really knew what lo-fi meant and I still kind of don't know, <laughs> know, understand the point of lo-fi, like why we call it that, but uh, after a little bit of research I found out that it's that typical like blogger soundtrack, vlog soundtrack with like some sort of old sounding hip hop beat with uh, traditional instruments and stuff like that. However, when I shot this video a few days ago, uh, I didn't go that far into the research and kind of just went my own way with it still ended up sounding pretty cool so i'm excited for you guys to get to hear that uh, i performed this video live on twitch at twitch.tv slash alex it took me two days of streaming to finish this track so what you're about to see is two days of production compressed down to five minutes so it's nice and easy for you guys to watch so right before we hop into the video in about 10 seconds don't forget alexromsound.com you can go there and check out my mixing mastering and private coaching services if you are interested in any of that so let's get into the video all right so today i'm gonna be making a lo-fi beat what the fuck is lo-fi who knows I did a little bit of research kind of heard what they're doing in the genre I hear I see the word popping up all over the internet lately and so now I'm just kind of curious as to if I could do it myself I'm thinking we'll take older sounding sounds or more not older sounding sounds like more traditional sounds like pianos strings electric pianos stuff like that maybe older synth sounds and a lot of bit crusher and we got ourselves a lo-fi beat. What we're basically going to do is get a lead going down. So let's get it. Next thing I'm going to do is throw in the atmospheric, like, gloomy little, like, crushy vinyl sound. So what's a lo-fi beat without that vinyl crackling over top of the entire thing? Let's get it. Boom. All right, this has gotta be a little less on time, a little more on time for this to work out. All right, I got an idea. I want like this really chill sounding um, drum beat. So let's just go right to drums. I'm gonna do kick, snare, then hi-hat, and then we'll work on some other melodic elements. See, this is something I could use. Oh, these are dirty. This is tight, dude. Okay, right here, let's get this. We're gonna lay down this drum beat. This is gonna look sexy. How hard can I go on these uh, hi-hats? Let's get it, babies. All right, we're laying down some hi-hats. All right, so let's do chords and then vocal chops. Waddix official, that, never mind, bro. That flew over your head. <laughs> I will never burp on stream again. I want people talking. That was like. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, so at this point in the production, it was all fine tuning and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is roll the beat and you guys are going to hit the comments right now and let me know how I did. I never made a lo-fi beat. Peace out, hitmakers.